you guys for hanging out at the park today. The boys are playing basketball and I am reading my book, Crispy Cancer by Chris Work. If you guys don't know, he's a really interesting guy. Cured himself of colon cancer, stage three, like 10 years ago, but he has a YouTube channel and a website and now he has a book. And I'm really interested in stories of people who have healed themselves naturally, so check him out if you guys don't know who he is. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. So, yeah, we're just gonna hang out here for a while. I have a birthday party to go to tonight. My friend Andrea's birthday. She's having it. At, hopefully you can hear me. Sorry, they're yelling pretty loud. <laughs> She's having her party at Veggie Nation, so I get to have some good food and hang out and see my friend who I haven't seen in like months. And actually, I don't think I've seen her in like a year. <laughs> so it's been a long time and I get to meet some new people even though I have social anxiety. Makes me really nervous to go with a big group of people that I don't know, but pretty sure most of them are plant-based or vegan and hopefully there'll be, you know, a bunch of friendly people and I'll get to know some people. Maybe I'll make some friends because, you know, I don't really have any in real life. <laughs> I don't have very many anyway that live here. So, uh, yeah gonna be an interesting day <laughs> <laughs> party and uh, I actually think it went fairly well. I always feel really awkward and kind of weird talking to strangers. I'm not very good at coming up with conversation or like keeping conversation flowing. At least I don't feel like I am. I don't know how they feel but there's always like awkward pauses which are really hard <laughs> to get through but overall considering I'm basically an amateur at this I think I did pretty well and thank Thank God Luis went with me. Uh, I, had, I convinced him to go with me because, uh, you know, he's like my security blanket. So he was there next to me the whole time and I felt really a lot more comfortable with him there with me. And, you know, of course the birthday girl was, you know, she had to entertain and talk to everyone. So like I didn't get to talk to her that much. So I was like, please come with me in case I have no one to talk to and I'm just sitting there staring at my food. And so Luis was sweet and came with me and I freaking love him so much for that. And we're home now, so I think it went well. Proud of myself for going, because I usually back out and chicken out of situations like that. I felt really bad because she invited me one time to go to a painting party thing, and I ended up having a stomach ache and not being able to go. And I and I was hoping that like she didn't think I did it on purpose to like, you know what I mean? Like I didn't want her to think that I didn't go on purpose to flake out on her or whatever, but. Um, luckily she's really sweet and she was really understanding and um, that she was nice enough to go out of her way last night to invite me to her birthday party today so I was like oh she still wants to see me think that's so nice so I'm definitely gonna go I can't I can't like let my social anxiety get the best of me and back out this time because she was so sweet to personally go out of her way to message me on messenger to ask her to, me to come to her birthday party which was really sweet so I had to go and I made the best of it and I think it went pretty well. So get out of your comfort zone, do something that scares you. Sometimes the situation turns out pretty good and you could actually, you know, meet some fun new people. I, I made a new Facebook friend out of it too. One of the girls uh, added me on Facebook. Now I have a new Facebook friend, that's awesome. So it worked out. So get out of your comfort zone, do something that scares you. And that's our little learned lesson for today. All right, well, Luis and I are just gonna hang out now and try to find a funny movie to watch. I don't know what we're gonna watch. I'm kind of out of ideas because uh, I've been going through movies with him for the last, I don't know, year, letting him watch all like the old 80s movies and things and 90s movies that he's never seen. And I'm kind of out of ideas now, so I don't know what we're gonna watch, but we're gonna sit down and hang out, watch a movie probably eat some Justin's chocolate peanut butter cups because now I feel like having dessert because we didn't get dessert at the restaurant. 
and we're just gonna hang out. So anyway, thanks for watching my little broccoli bites and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye.